So Twitter's been going mental recently with the announcement of the fact that The Evil Within will run at 30 frames per second on PC. Another dodgy looking PC port. And it's something that's always really bothered me. Bad PC ports, I don't understand why they still happen. It's 2014. We've got tin openers that can open a tin without any human input. Why the fuck can't we get good PC ports? And as you can see, I feel a bit strongly about this. Um, I've only been PC gaming for about a year, and I still absolutely love my consoles as much as my PC. But it really bugs me when I've got this extra power and it's not being utilized by new releases. You know, it really doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't they make a good PC port? We've had loads of examples. Call of Duty, Ghosts. I mean, to be fair, that was a bag of shit anyway, but awful PC port. Watch Dogs was pretty tragic. The first Dark Souls, Dark Souls, but one of my favorite games of all time, but the PC port just wasn't good enough. The list just goes on, and I really cannot help wondering why. Gaming technology is advancing all the time. It's, I mean, Oculus Rift is here now. We've got virtual reality, basically, on the brink of the horizon. For you guys to buy, you'll be able to sit and actually be in the game. So why can't they make a port that's any good? There's got to be a reason behind it. There's got to be something that either we don't know about how ridiculously hard it can be to make a PC port. Perhaps it is that. Perhaps it can be very difficult. But what kind of makes me sceptical is you could say, well, it's different hardware to a console. But think of a game like Watch Dogs. It's on PS4 and Xbox One. Two different sets of hardware. So what's the third set of hardware? What's the difference? It's more powerful. It should be able to run it better. Why doesn't it? Personally, and I was speaking to, I think it was Story Machine, who was talking to a developer, I can't remember the game, um, I think it might have been Advanced Warfare, and I'm pretty sure it was Story Machine, or, or someone like that was, I think he made a video about it, where he was talking about it, and he was talking about the PC port with this developer, and he said, PC isn't our priority. So what they're basically saying is, we can't be asked. We can't be asked to make a good PC port, just buy it on console. And I think if that is the case, it's pretty inexcusable. But I have my own theory, my own sort of, I guess it's a conspiracy theory, maybe, maybe I'm seeing triangular hand signs everywhere. Uh, maybe Ubisoft is secretly Illuminati trying to set up a new world order with EA and Activision. And eventually we'll all get nuked, but first we'll have to pay for the nuke and then it'll be delivered in 12 pieces. And you can either buy the 12 pieces for a billion pounds, or you can pay three quarters of a million and get 12 instalments of the nuke to put it together yourself. That tends to be how EA, EA work now. Here's a game, we'll give it you in instalments. This is my theory. I've been going off topic a lot in this video, so I'll just nail down what I wanted to say. I sometimes wonder if certain developers of certain games get a little backhander to sort of half arsedly make a PC port. Because if you've got a game that's available on console and PC, and it runs better on PC, someone like me who's got a console and a PC is more likely to get it for the PC and therefore console sales will drop. But it does depend on the game. There are certain games I would just rather have on a console, but I wonder if sometimes they do get slightly asked to to sort of not do the PC port as well, to try and promote people to get the games on console. And if that's the case, it it's unnecessary because I'm the perfect example of why it's unnecessary. I have PC and I have console, and I would still buy certain games that are available on both for my console because it just works better for it. But I genuinely can't understand why we're still having these really bad PC ports. Why the hell is The Evil Within going to be running at 30 frames per second? They know that's not good enough for PC gamers. They, they know their audience, or at least they should do. And if they do, they know that PC gamers like 60 frames a second or more. Especially now we're having things like 4K monitors. Next probably 8K and then we'll have monitors made out of sunshine and rainbows that just project the images into your face. It's getting ridiculous. So why are these ports coming out that are so poorly and half heartedly made? So I guess it's a bit of a rant really. Um, <laughs> how, are all, how are you all doing? Hope you're all good. <laughs> I'm, I'm clearly a little bit pissed off about this. But yeah, it's something I've been getting animated about, and I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think this is just unnecessary, and, and why is this happening? It's just, it shouldn't be. And with that, I'll sign off. Um, don't think I'm changing my beliefs into that graphics are more important than gameplay. That will never be the case. But when a game comes out that it just runs on PC so poorly it's unplayable, and yet it's perfect on the console, it does make you wonder why. But yeah, leave your thoughts down below. I'm going to go and cool off. You guys take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you all very soon.